Hey, 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 what it do? This is your boy, KQKC Boxing. That's right. This is a network that deal with strictly boxing. Answer questions. And, matter of fact, I direct straight answers to you. No politically correct shit. I tell it like it is. And I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to clarify or maybe extend the understanding of the videotape yesterday. Or the video that I made yesterday. I'm going to let you know why I say there won't be a fight. Eddie Hearn is always up to some slick shit. Right after this, you will know. What the hell I'm talking about. Peace. Be right back. I am back. Now, this is what I had to tell you. This is what you need to understand. This is what I'm going to clarify from the videotape earlier yesterday. And again, first, I want to apologize for my absent yesterday. That's why I always make it up to my subscribers. And I will be on today at 12 o'clock noon if you don't get a notification keep that in mind and also I want to thank everyone for your super chat and your PayPal it makes me feel good that you enjoy the channel I know I get it I'm a small channel but one thing about it, I know my boxing. And I thought another thing about it, you want to enjoy your boxing talk. You want to have an honest dialogue. You want to be able to disagree, but agree to disagree. Just like Anthony Joshua. Let's get to it. Anthony Joshua, if you listen to Eddie Hearn's team, because it's not Anthony Joshua team. So, UK people, please stop it. And I got some more things to talk about on the UK at 12 o'clock. People, stop. Anthony Joshua is not that guy. He will not fight Deontay Wilder. What we call here in the state of Illinois. It's called selling wolf ticket. Now they say clout chasing. We all know. We all know. That he's not going to fight Deontay Wilder. If you listen. Like I said. If you listen to AJ. If you listen to. Uh, uh, Johnny Nelson. If you listen to. Eddie Hearn. Mashroom. The Zone. They always bring up this trilogy. Now let me explain it correctly. They bring up this um, trilogy. You know damn well. That Wilder going to say look. I fought this bitch twice. It should have been a win. Twice. And I'm not about. To go in there and fight. Him again. I want Joshua. I've been hauling out the same damn thing for two, three years. And he always, he always seems to get out of it. And the UK people sit there and uh, allow him to do that. That's what disappoints me. 
the punk ass UK Anthony Joshua lovers rather argue with you than see the facts in front of their eyes. I'm sorry. I told you. I tell it like it fucking is. If you don't like it, oh uh, well, go some fucking else, somewhere else. But if you want the real story about my champ, your champ, whoever champ, you're at the right place. See, they're going to use the trilogy as a way to get out the fight. Now, let me put it plainly. They say we must fight our mandatories because they, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, they have a trilogy. So therefore, we might not be able to fight them. Now, casual fans, KQKC fans or subscribers, hell me, we know unifications trump mandatories. Stop fucking around, Matchroom, the zone. You know what it is. Anthony Johnson is trying to find a way out, escape route. Now, let me guess. Later on, in a few months, he's going to say, well, we have fights lined up. We must fight our mandatories because he had more than one belt. So there's no room for me to fight Deontay Wilder. Then, if that doesn't work, they will say, well, like he's doing now, we'd rather see Tyson Fury win because that can be a huge, a huge fight in the UK. That can make both of a lot of money. So therefore, I'd rather fight Fury than Wilder. Now, it doesn't matter if Wilder wins. They still want to fight Fury. It doesn't matter if Fury want to go to the WWE. They going to want to fight Fury. Did you see where I'm going with this? Do you see how I see it? Do you see interview after interview from throwing a curveball? Give me a fucking break. He going to throw a curveball, all right. It's a curveball how to run behind that corner. It's a curveball how to turn that corner and get on the elevator and get the hell out of Deontay Wilder's way. Let's be honest. You going to rather fight Pulav? You're not a champion, Anthony Joshua. And like I told you all, all my subscribers, if you were listening, you would know. It's a difference in a belt holder. It's a difference in a champion. And what we have in Wilder is a champion. It's a disgrace. It is a disgrace how the UK media is treating Deontay Wilder. You have the notification. Be there at 12 o'clock. Because I will discuss it. It's a shame. It's a shame how the UK people think that this man is a champion. It is a shame how the UK people actually believe that this man want to fight Wilder. Do you know if you've been in the dark for the last three years or have been on an island with no TV or electricity? You will know that this man that they called champion who had all the belts besides one and he was too scared to get that one. And now, he's saying 70-30? Are you kidding me? 70-30? Well, the last time I looked, Anthony Joshua, your popularity plummeted. Last time I looked, you had a knockout on your record. Last time I looked, you had a loss on your record. Last time I looked, your heart was gone. Last time I looked, 
your fucking courage was gone. I'm sorry, people. I am so sorry that that man from the UK wasted your time. We could have had a super fight between two strapping young heavyweights in their prime. We could have had that. We could have had that two years ago. But for some reason, the United States, the American people, we get it. We understand it. We've seen it many, many times over. Now, the UK people, you must. And I'm, I'm going to repeat this. And I repeat it all goddamn day. You must don't have no good fighters over there. Someone that really, really, really would give Anthony Joshua some competition. You must don't really have no one that can weather the storm. You must don't have boxing fans with common sense. See, once Anthony Joshua win, let's say, one manager against Pulev, or Yusik, or who, whoever else, I don't give a fuck. Are you going to demand a wilder fight? Or are you going to idly sit back and say, that's okay, let him fight his mandatories? I'm sorry. This goes for the UK people, men and women. Put on your big boy boxers. And women, put on your big girl drawers and tell this motherfucker, we're not going to consider you a champ until you get in there with Wilder. And let's see what you can do. Now, uh, Anthony Joshua said, oh, Wilder has a right hand, but I have a left hand. Yes, you do. And I ain't going to say right now what you do with that left hand. But I tell you this. It's not hitting your opponent. Now I can de definitely tell you. What Deontay Wilder does with his right hand. I can tell you 41 times. I'm sorry people. I don't mean to come down on the UK people. And it's not all the UK people. Because the UK are good people. They are. It's just that. Some of the boxing. UK fans are delusional. You got to be honest. You got to see things the way they are. And the way they are is Anthony Joshua. Deep down inside. Matter of fact, bring that bitch up, son. Ain't deep down inside. The motherfucker's scared. Now, will you be? Wouldn't you be in the statements that Deontay Wilder made? I'm going to say that for my live stream. Because y'all some panicking motherfuckers over there. Like I said months ago. Chicken Little run through that motherfucker and say the sky is falling. Y'all still are looking up. I am KQ. KC Boxing. If you like the content of this video, feel free right now to subscribe. Hit the bell icon. That way you will get notified each and every time I do a video like this one in a live stream like today at 12 noon. But normally I come on Monday through Friday. 12.30 p.m. Now, I always make up what I miss. I owe it to my subscribers. I'm not saying that they, they paying for a service. I think they are owe a service. They tune in every day. I even hear from other creators how great my subscribers have been. How great my moderators have been. 
So, therefore, it's not about the super chats or the PayPal. I have a job to do. And my job is to keep you current in the state of boxing. And you can teach me some things. And I can teach you some things also. So with that, that's all I have. And I will see you at 12 noon. So with that, I greet you with the ancient word of peace. I am Baptist. <laughs> but assalamu alaikum, my people. It's a lake of Salaam. Alright. Go in peace. And with that, I'm out of here.